This is infrared obstacle avoidance sensor. This can be attached to any robotic uh, devices such as smart car or robotic arm and it emits infrared light. An infrared beam will hit the object, return back and the reflection will be detected as a signal at the output. And this is quite large but it, it has its own application. It comes as a screw type so you can create the whole the size of this, invert it and then tighten this. And it has three wires here. At this end we have a screw for a potentiometer which you can adjust the sensitivity. And there is also an LED. When it detects an obstacle this will turn on. And at the top you will just see these two lenses that underneath there is transmitter and receiver of infrared. Uh, we have three wires. The brown is the 5 volts, black is signal out where it will be detected and blue is the ground. Let me explain now the code. Let me explain now the code. Uh, we will define pin 2 for the sensor. So we will connect the signal pin to this pin and we call it sensor and there is an action pin, extra pin, I just put it uh, in case if you want to use it. When it detects uh, obstacle you do something and send high signal to pin 9. It can be motor, it can be light, a buzzer, whatever. So this pin will go high. And inside the setup we define this serial monitor with 9600 baud. We use pen mode, sensor, input, pull up. Input uh, sensor needs input pull up. I have explained this in the early lectures. And then we use pen mode action. This is pen 9 as an output. And here we use digital read sensor. We read the sensor pin and the result which is either high or low. High is 1, low is 0 will be stored in L integer L and here we check if L is equal equal 0 I could also type low both of these are the same check if low low means obstacle is detected then we print this text it says obstacle detected and then also we do digital write action pin which is 9 we will set it high and here is the action that you do between these opening and closing parentheses. Whatever you do will be here if you're controlling a motor to be stopped or started because this uh, piece can be used also to start something when it detects an obstacle. Something should start. And else otherwise if there is no obstacle also you can take an action here and we just put here all clear and also we send the pen which was high we send it set it to low. And there is 500 millisecond delay and the loop continues like that. Here is the wiring diagram. The brown have been connected to 5 volts, the blue have been connected to ground and the black which is a signal have been connected to pin 2. From pin 9 I've put this LED. This could be buzzer, relay, motor, whatever you want to control. Uh, this pin 9 have been connected to anode of LED and then the cathode have been connected to 1 kilo ohm which is connected to the ground and when the obstacle is detected this LED will turn on. Here is the wiring. Brown have been connected to 5 volts. Blue have been connected to the ground and then the black have been connected to pin 2. From pin 9, from this pin, I have a wire which has gone to this LED, the anode, the longer pin is on this side and the cathode, the shorter pin is on the other side through one kilo ohm it has been connected to the ground. And here is the man here if I point it, this is the actual point, if I point it down you will see that it is detecting an obstacle but the length you have to know how far I've been here. Demonstration. As you can see when I bring my hand, we will see that obstacle detected and also the LED will turn on. Now I've put this box at around 10 centimeter from here. And as you can see the light is off and I'm trying to adjust the potentiometer. 
now I'm going clockwise rotating remember this is multi-turn potentiometer so you will not see immediate effects so I'm trying rotating it clockwise now the light started blinking and now as soon as you see the light turns on slowly turn it back counterclockwise until it just barely turns off now exactly I'm at the edge when I go to the left or right now it works with 10 centimeters a little less than 10 centimeters so if I get closer you see it can work up to 10 centimeter now let's see if we can do it 15 centimeter I'm rotating this uh, clockwise I rotated like full rotation or two now this seems now almost 14 centimeters yes we're getting up to 14 centimeters but remember this depends on the type of the surface and shiny surfaces or different surface will have different reflection and as a result the distance that this can work differs it detects the signal also this light turns on you see I'm pointing it below the disc and the light is off if I bring my finger you will see the light is on